Hello, my name is Joel Dunning and I'm delighted to announce the Innovations Award winner for the absolute best video uh, we have received. And I'm here with the winner, uh, Alan O'Donnell. Uh, Alan, thank you very much for joining us. Your video is phenomenal. Uh, as, a, as a standard general cardiac surgeon and thoracic surgeon, uh, it nearly exploded my brain, but the quality <laughs> of it was amazing. Uh, it was called the Arterial Switch and Me Procedure, and uh, you were there, you edited it, you did it all. So first of all, perhaps if you just want to introduce yourself, tell us where you work, uh, and then tell us a little bit about that brilliant video. Sure. Well, thank you very much, Joel, and thank you, CTSNet. I really am, am honored to, uh, to be selected or even be considered, honestly, because there are a lot of great videos. and I really appreciate it. But um, my name's Alan. I am a, a cardiothoracic surgery uh, physician assistant at Cincinnati Children's Hospital uh, with an interest in uh, video editing. And yeah, it, I, I sort of started ed editing videos a couple of years ago when I first started. Um, one of our surgeons, Dr. Twaddle, asked me to to make a video for SDS for um, like a, a how I how I do it video of a Norwood, and sort of has just snowballed from there to where we are now. Um, and but yeah, that that video was in particular was really interesting just because you don't I mean we do a lot of arterial switches here and it was just particularly interesting with the um, having to unroof that that coronary artery and, and I had never heard of the the me procedure before and um, Dr. Brian Roosevelt Bryant who is one of our surgeons here who's now in uh, in Phoenix uh, really helped me a lot to to sort of understand how that was going to be done and how the whole unroofing, and then he showed me a lot of the papers that um, Dr. Me had published back um, back years back, and so it was yeah, it was just it was a really cool operation to to watch, and then be, to have the privilege of editing it. It's just it's really neat. And just for one minute, explain the Me procedure, and if people want to watch this video, what are they going to see? So they're going to see an arterial switch procedure, which uh, is pretty. I mean, pretty self-explanatory but the then the actual um coronary artery management is a little bit different just because both of the coronary arteries came off the same sinus except there was an intramural and an intraarterial course at the left so they'll see the unroofing and then the actual excision of that and the and the right coronary artery and the reimplantation of both of those yeah, and I think it was particularly clear. So, so people out there uh, who wanted a few hints and tips about how to do an amazing video, how did you video this? Uh, and uh, tell us about what technology you used and, and how did you edit it? So um, the, the cameras that we use are the, the, uh, the BFW Incorporated makes you the Pharos HD cameras. They're, they're head cameras and um, they have been fantastic and their company like their customer service has been awesome they've really helped me sort of understand some of the more nuanced things about editing in terms of like color correction and things like that um but then the actual editing has been a lot of just because i'd never i've never edited any videos before before this and um so i started on iMovie and it sort of uh just kind of evolved into using final cut pro and so that's what I use now, but the, a lot of the, you know, the animations and all the, like the zooming, you know, uh, magnification things, those are all separate third party uh, software plugins. And that's where, that's honestly where I probably spent most of my time is just looking, cause there are just hundreds and hundreds of these different plugins and then trying to figure out what ones are good to use and then what ones would not really be so useful. Um, so there's three main main companies. There's like Motion via VFX, uh, FX Factory, and uh, Pixel Film Studios are the ones that make the the majority of the really really quality um, plugins that, that I use. Go on, tell us how long did it take you? Mm, that video in particular, probably I don't know anywhere from like 15 to 20 hours, maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. Well, uh, it's an amazing quality video. Congratulations on that. So uh, what else is coming up in the O'Donnell series? 
uh, the O'Donnell series. Well, luckily for me, all the hard work's already done. The actual surgery's done, so it's just a lot of editing. But um, I'm working on a valve smearing root uh, re reconstruction in a Louis Dietz patient. Um, and then I'm also working on a, a complete canal in a, in a, a kid who has dextrocardia. Yeah, congratulations. Well, oh, I think you. a lot of surgeons would actually say the stitching in circles is the easy bit, and what yeah. you're doing <laughs> the 12 hours is the most difficult bit. I'm sure your editing took longer than the actual operation. So many yeah. congratulations for myself, uh, an editor at CTS and everybody here. It makes such a difference to people being able to see these things that sometimes they just can't travel to see. Yeah. And, uh, and so, you know, you bring that and, and also your animations and zooms were fantastic. So congratulations you, on that. And from all Thank of us, you. very well done. A very deserved winner. Of Thank you very much. Appreciate it.